pretty awesome being auditioning for that for a youth in revolt and having um, having them have already read the book. Yeah. Um, they were, were psyched. Yeah. <laughs> so. And and what what do you remember liking about the book that you read? Because you said you read it years ago. Yeah. Well, the book is great. Um, the book's really funny and. Um, it's just, uh, he's got his own tone, C.D. Payne, and his own voice, and it's just, uh, everything pays off. He sets up these things that you just wonder how he's going to pay them off, and everything gets paid off in a really great way. And uh, it feels like he had no idea where it was going when he was writing it. And so it feels really like, just kind of, it's got a lot of momentum. When, when you read it, did you ever envision that you would be either of these gentlemen? Uh, well, I wanted to. I knew, I knew they were making a movie of it because when they sent me the script, they sent the book along with it, and that's how I was introduced to the book. So I knew there was going to be one day be a movie made, and I really wanted to be in it because I loved the, the voice of the book and wanted to be able to play those parts if possible. Well, one of the things that really floors me about the film is, and we talked about this earlier, is that there are like six, seven, eight of these great supporting actors in this movie who, if any one of them had just been in the movie, it would have been awesome. And, and whenever they're like Steve Buscemi or Ray Liotta, or you know, any of the, or Zach, or any of the people, or Fred Willard, for God's sakes, um, <laughs> they, if any of them in a movie is usually a good thing. And to have them all in one film had to just be kind of mind-blowing for both of you. Um, do you was there any, like, were there a couple people that you just were really kind of enthusiastic about meeting and working with? Yeah, I love Steve Buscemi. He, he's one of my favorite actors. And Fred Willard, I'm, I'm a huge fan of. And um, all of those guys. And then Walsh is amazing. And um, Mary Kay Place is amazing. Gene Smart. And um, I'm a huge fan of Zach. And that's, I think that's all. And Ray Liotta is amazing. <laughs> I'm like physically accosted by him, which is yeah. a badge of honor. I know. Yeah, he hit me in rehearsal. <laughs> and, uh, he was great. He was awesome. It was a lot of fun to get to have, like have a face off with him. Yeah. And he's scary. He's really scary. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. His eyes scare me. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? I mean, this the whole thing is, you know. Yeah, this has been um, uh, mind blowing. But I was jealous because Michael got so many scenes with everybody, and I think I got to work with. A group in the Thanksgiving scene. That's when I got to be able to work with kind of everybody. But um, yeah, I I guess it was kind of nice being able to watch them because <laughs> I think it would be a little. I can't picture Ray Liotta being like a foot away from me. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, it was it was awesome being able to watch them. My one of my favorite moments is, um, and I keep repeating this, but I can't get over it. Uh, Fred. Willard on the carpet, and he up slowly, and he's like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, um, super talented people. It's just kind of... um, there was a part of me, and I, I have not read the book, but there was a part of me that was really hoping that we would never actually see Trent, because we wait, they wait so long into the movie to yeah. introduce him. And he, he was in uh, Nick and Nora, wasn't he? He yeah, an actor. I mean, so was, uh, I can't remember her name now. The one who played it. Yes, they were both in it. Um, was that, I mean, was that ever even like an option to just somehow work work around not showing him and just have him be this like large? Interesting. Like... <laughs> yeah, he's like Dr. Claw. <laughs> <laughs> There's this phone call that's cut out of the movie where you just saw over it. You just saw like the back of his head. It was a lot like Dr. Claw. <laughs> and you saw again like a picture of Sheeny on his desk. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but that got cut out. But it would have been interesting to not see him. Yeah. But Johnny's so great. It was, it's, kind of, it's kind of fun to get to see him.